Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. We're in the SETC here in Glasgow. You alright? You lost it? Yeah, I was looking for the flag. Where's the flag, Dean? Oh, oh yeah, carry on, mate. Crack on, sorry. Yeah, oh, no, nah, nah, it's taking too long. You haven't got that much film. <laughs> <laughs> um, congratulations. Cheers, mate. Thank uh, you. Fifth pro win for you. Um, Greg O'Neill. Did you say it's the toughest opponent you've faced so Yeah, far? I think so. I think, you know, he, he was the first person on really boxes came and had a go and came to win. Mm. Um, which is, you know, which is exactly what I need. And, yeah, no, it was good. Like I said, he came to win. He came with a lot of ambition. Came with a good record, 3-1, and one, which is, you know, he's, he's good, he's young, he was strong. And he posed a few problems. And he's, I think at this stage of my career, it's all about kind of being exposed a little bit in the ring and going back to the gym and having things to work on and improve, you know. Because if you're just blowing people away, you're not really, you know, you, you're only going to get good at doing what you're doing. So I think yeah, that was that was great. You know, I really really enjoyed that actually, and it's great to be up here in Scotland. You know, the fan the fans up here are brilliant. So hopefully, I've converted a few um, to join the your army. So did you feel like that was the the right test for you at this stage of your career? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I think that was um, that was a good test. I think I've, I think uh, of all the guys that turned both since Olympics, I think I've had you know arguably like the toughest, stiffest competition, um, and that was that was spot on, and that was exactly what I needed um, in my third fight. I boxed Gary Bolden, which was. I think you know it was a really quite a tough fight at that time in my career. Um, and a good performance, I think that's probably my, my best one yet. Um, considering the, the standard of, of opponent he was, he was a good fighter. <coughs> I'm sure going to do some half decent things in, in the sport, so that's exactly what I needed. Um, you can obviously quite comfortably do these sort of rounds now. So is that on your plans now to move up the rounds? Def as well? Definitely, yeah. I wanted to do an eight to be honest with you today, um, but for whatever reasons, I've you know, I had to do a six. But I think my biggest asset is is my, my stamina and my, my, my fitness and I think over the long period of rounds I think that's when you'll see the best of me. I think I settled down after the oh, and I pretty much ripped those first two rounds off today because I was a bit tense and stiff and the second four were better and I think if the fight would have carried on two more rounds I know that in my mind I would have stopped him. And all the guys I've have, boxed and haven't stopped, I think, you know, over two or four more rounds I think I'd stop them all. So I think with myself, I think you'll um I'm I'm getting that power, I'm getting that more explosive power which is obviously good and I will do as I as I progress and, and develop more as a professional boxer, but I think my big, big biggest asset is my speed and my accumulation of punches, and I think I'll stop more people as fights go on. So yeah, eight and tens now as quick as possible. Hmm. Uh, you mentioned to me yesterday that um, you possibly might be on the Mayweather Maidana undercard. So is that yet to be finalised? And yeah, no, I think that's pretty much confirmed, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's confirmed. But like you know, in boxing, you know, um, we all thought that was going to be Khan. But um, like you know, anything's you know. It, Anything is possible in boxing, but yeah, no, it's all 99% uh, done, 99% confirmed. So um, Richard Schaefer said, said I think he spoke to the Sun yesterday and done an interview, and he said I was on it. So yeah, fingers crossed, all goes well. I don't pick up another little niggle like I did last year, and I'll, and I'll be on it. And like I said, that's that's another experience in itself, you know, and learning and going over there and taking myself out of the comfort zone because um, it's, it's great boxing in the UK, it really is. But you know, go into another country where people are different, the ring's a bit different, people talk differently, the announcers different, all those little things which you don't think, you know, play much of a consideration in boxing, they do, so picking up all that experience is um, is invaluable. Mind you, you talk differently, so I suppose it all fits, doesn't it? I do, mate, you know, I'm, I'm unique, what can I say? What can I say? How uh, did well, Arsenal get on today? <laughs> Lost, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bang, from the <laughs> on the go, Um... All right, well, listen, thanks for talking to Cheers, us. Cheers, mate, thanks. Uh, I like the way you roll with your entourage as well. There's like 19 of you. You don't... Yeah, no, nah, so... Uh, do you know what they... Like you can't even get in there anyway. You know trying to sort of do step in <laughs> and like, they're like, no, you don't break the circle. Do you know what? It's what it is. It's just all my friends, mate. All my friends and all like, you know, people I've known for years and years and they want to kind of be part of the journey. Um, the Yo Army's going. We need to get your No Army t-shirt. Yeah? Mike one as well. Mikey now, mate, look. So... Uh, don't mess about. That cost you, though. Don't mess about. Put it on the slate. Uh, Anthony, congratulations. Cheers, mate. Thanks, S everyone. Support and, and, uh, appreciate it. On to the next one. Thanks. 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 Extra incentive for me. Coming to come Vegas. Coming. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, you might have to show Richard. it to me. I'll have a word Richard, mate. See yeah. if I can. see what he can do for you. Just give me a food tab. We're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. Anthony Agogo, IFL TV. Thank you very much.